Hey Dumblies, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be getting into Jimin and apparently some sites and fans talking about Jimin's quote unquote date in this army for a little while. I think it's really cute and it's a funny story, so I can't wait to talk about it. I also want to get into YG's announcement on a new solo for Lisa. I think it's a very smart move and I'm glad it's being talked about. I want to get into more of that at the end, so grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified any time a new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first of your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. First off, I hope you enjoyed Bang Bang Con. If you missed it, I'm sure there'll be clips floating around and all that. I'm still figuring out if I want to make a video on anything that happened, but if I end up doing that, and then you'll get a full review on BTS's performances. There were definitely tons of cute moments that happened. The second thing I want to talk about today is the Jimin star. Sites have come out with a new story that is very cute and funny. Again, I like to always say that I did not find this myself or break it myself. I only talk about what is being talked about online, so take it with a grain of salt, but I think it's really funny. Fans come out with all sorts of stories when they used to meet BTS personally. BTS used to hold these very intimate fan signs where they would be at this long table and one by one, as the fan can kneel down in front of the table and individually talks to your idols. It's a lot more intimate than what I've seen of American fan signs or meet and greets. As there is that table down and the fan as well as the idol are both sitting down sort of and you can meet eye to eye, you can give gifts easier and of course it's even more nerve-wracking when you're standing to meet your idol. You just see their whole body, you see how tall they are, and it can be intimidating. And you might even forget what you had come there to say and that can be frustrating when you go home and realize you forgot to ask or say something you really wanted to. BTS hosts really great fan signs because they do a lot of fan service at those fan signs and make armies really feel at home. I almost feel like BTS treats us better because they realize people are spending money and their time to be there, so they want to give everyone a good experience. Obviously, in general, they're going to choose to be kind to armies because BTS loves us, but that's not the case with a lot of other celebrities. So, and if I may rant here, I don't understand how celebrities can be mean at fan signs. Like at the very least, if you don't consider your fans actual people, then consider it like you're doing customer service. Just be nice. There's never a reason to think, well, I'm a celebrity, so I won't stand next to you. Gross, ill to have that mindset. But boy, have fan signs changed lately. They're more like FaceTime with the idols now. That's cool too. And also less intimidating as you can have notes. Anyway, armies just kind of journal their experiences online and so many cute stories come out that armies write. Of course, there's no way to fully verify if the story is 100% true or not, but they're fun stories. They don't really hurt anyone, but take it as it is, a fun story. A lot of them have gone viral over the years. There was even one where a guy asked Jungkook on a date and Jungkook apparently wrote that he was very brave to ask Jungkook. Things like that, they make armies love them so much. There was also this one army that came out and talked about her attending the fan meet and going up to Jimin to ask him about the possibility of agreeing to a date or being her boyfriend. This ended up going viral on Korean social media. And I believe some people here on YouTube YouTube as well as online started talking about it. Jimin of course agreed to being the army's boyfriend because why not? She made a trip all the way over to Jimin. The least Jimin can do is marry her. That's how marriage works obviously. And the army was ecstatic. Of course when you're in the fan side and you're at the table, you meet each member individually, you have a short time with each individual member. So when it was time for the army to go down the line and meet the next member, she had to break up with Jimin and even said goodbye. Jimin apparently pretended that they were breaking up and then said to her, my ex-girlfriend, have a nice life without me. So cute. Imagine if Jimin said that to me. I mean, he does say that to me, except the breakup part because we never break up. He gets sad when I leave, like all my husbands do. There's many stories of moments like this floating around. I'm surprised when I actually see video footage of specific moments because who is recording these? Usually they don't allow people to record in fan signs and I think only pictures are allowed. And even then I think it's when you're at the table with the boys. So a lot of these events, it's very possible for this to be real and just no evidence of it except from a story. And also Jimin is known to be super flirty and cute with armies, so it's very possible. I love that Jimin does so much fan service. It makes me so happy that he knows how much it means to us. But also when a story like this gets out, the fandom loves him even more. There's been a lot of stuff going on in K-pop. I definitely want to try to cover as much as possible and make this a great K-pop channel. YG has been doing a lot, and especially with the new apparent CEO, they're really pushing to make money, which I think is very smart compared to the older one. This of course makes us happy because the company wanting to make money 
means we will see more of Blackpink. And from what I see, I don't think there's any abuse or mistreatment going on. The girl seemed genuinely happy. So I'm glad. Rosé has been doing a lot with her solo career and it's going really good. Of course, this kind of begs the question, who is next? And I think it could be wrong, but I think the initial order was supposed to be Jenny, Lisa, Rosé, and then Jisoo. And if that was the case, then Rosé has obviously moved up. Either way, I think it's very smart of Lisa to go next. She can ride the momentum of Youth With You and really get a lot more exposure for her work while she is on the show. She might even be able to perform the song on the air, which if they decide to release her solo work at a later time, she might not even get the opportunity as she may not even be on the show anymore. So I do hope she goes next. Keep the ball rolling. Now apparently YG came out and put out a statement on this. This was confirmed last year that Rosé and Lisa would be going next. They had a little announcement that I believe group activities may halt for a bit. Lisa won't be in the group as she may be going for her solo. It's reported and alleged that Lisa's new solo will be out in June this year. If this is true, I gotta say. Well, of course I was hoping for Lisa to get her solo moment. I didn't expect it to be literally right after Rosé. I thought they might actually take a break and then Lisa would make a comeback. Now a lot of news started reporting this. Bizarre Thailand even posted a picture talking about this. The caption was in Thai but it was translated and it basically said this June, get ready to meet Lisa solo. This is a great confirmation but it wasn't enough. Lisa actually did come out during a live stream to speak about this. A fan obviously asked about it. Lisa said she couldn't really say much other than please wait a little longer and it's coming soon and it is coming soon. I like the sound of coming soon. What date can we extrapolate from coming soon? I need blinks to pull out a date from those words because when Rose said coming soon it really came soon. Like she was saying her entire staff was working full time to get it out. I mean that is amazing if Lisa's doing the same but I'm glad she shared that. It's going to get a super hype for the release and it is highly anticipated. I hope she gets all the love she deserves. I definitely wanted to see what some people were saying about this over on our tweets there. One person wrote, a fan spotted Lisa at the YG building yesterday, maybe to discuss her solo plans. Oh my god, a clue. They're probably like, we want Lisa everywhere. How do we do that? I hope they get billboards. I hope to see her in Times Square. Basically, they really treated Rosé well. She is getting her moment right now. I hope she enjoys it and she sees people really love her. Her music definitely fits her voice very well. And I'm curious to hear if Lisa is going to have more of a rap style to her solo. I think a lot of people are definitely expecting some sort of hip hop vibe, but I'm actually hoping for something a little more singy. Maybe something that shows a completely different side of her. She really doesn't sing much or really that much in Blackpink's main singles. She's always rapping. She does sing in the B-side songs, but not the main songs. Her voice is so good too. So maybe a blend of singing and rapping would be something I am looking forward to. No matter what she releases though, it will blow up. I have no doubt. This is a very exciting news and I don't know if you feel the same way. She also posted on YouTube a clip of her getting photos done and doing a photo shoot. This might be in preparation for the solo. I am surprised that they might promote her with black hair. So maybe the solo album will have a darker feel to it. Maybe a sad song and it will be in English like Rosé songs. That's awesome to think about. Oh, our babies grow up so fast. And now we will have solos and all that. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave me down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, and ship reactions. You can also recommend things we'd like to see over there. Link is in the top description down below. I also have a video over there kind of talking about Asian and media and my experience over there. Please make sure you check it out. It would mean a lot to me. It's on the front page and it's free to watch. It also talks a little bit about how you contribute back to this channel and all that. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so Click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.